Hello guys, Lamarock Strikes Up once again, and today it's a review on Ted 2. Let's get to the plot. So basically the plot is it take place after the first we left off. If you don't know what happened to um, Mia Kusa's character, she's not in the sequel because she was pregnant actually. And the second reason why she's not in this movie because her car him and... And John got divorced in the sequel. They mentioned in in this movie. Based the plot is Ted is now married to Tammy Ling, and now got married, and they went to a huge argument for no reason, and they want to have a baby, but sadly they can't because then they get a, sp a spawned over because Ted is actually property. He's basically just a plush toy. He's not a human to me. He's just a it's just a, a toy product. Basically, me up with let me up Ted and John me up with Samantha, and then basically um. They're trying to um, sue the right so, so Ted can be the right so he can be a person. And that's basically the plot is. First off, happy 4th anniversary to Ted 2. That's right, Ted 2 is now officially 4 years old. Honestly, it's perfect timing. Because I'm actually reviewing this movie on this day when it, this movie came out. Now before we get to my thoughts, let's get to my thoughts guys. Honestly, I enjoyed this movie, but it wasn't as good as the first one. I mean... Let me get, let me show you something, guys. And seriously, when Ted 2 first came out, it has received mixed reviews from critics and audience. It got a 46% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it got a 50% on the audience score. Yeah, this is actually a pretty, that's just really strange that this movie got a low percent on Rotten Tomatoes. And when it came out, people might, people saying, it's good. But, eh, first movie was 1,000 times better. I mean, there is, it's been devised by fans and critics. Some like it, some hate it. To me, I think it's another rewatch. I enjoy it. It's a, it is a very possible sequel. It is a, an enjoyable film, but it wasn't as good as the first movie. I mean, there is some funny jokes in this movie. Let's get to it. So, the story is, is good. The characters are good. I do like Samantha's, John's new love interest, Samantha. She was great. And, oh gosh, she will lay on, will be on Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Oh god, I hate that movie so much. I didn't know she was on Mamma Mia until I've... I didn't know she was on Ted 2. I didn't know she was on Mamma Mia 2 until I watched that film online. I was like, is that the same woman from, from Ted 2? And it was. The same actress who played Samantha in Ted 2 was in Mamma Mia. Yep, she was a great character. I like her in this movie. As my thoughts on Mamma Mia 2, we get to that later. Anyway, I have to say my favourite scene in this movie is the Comic-Con scene. I love the Comic-Con scene. That was a hilarious scene. I mean, everyone fighting in Comic-Con. That scene was so, so funny. I was laughing my ball off in that scene. I mean, everyone dressing in costumes, everyone fighting. There is so many costumes in the Comic Con. There is, um, I think I saw Peter Griffin, the chicken. I, I saw, um, the, I saw one of the characters from Back to the Future in this movie. And I saw the, in the unrated version, I saw the Knight Rider cop with David Hasselhoff. He's in the unrated version. It's a, and also I saw some Easter eggs of Minor Pony in this movie. There is some Minor Pony Easter eggs in this movie, which I was very surprised. And now let's get into my negatives, and that is Donnie. Honestly, he's even worse in this one than the first movie. Honestly, many people complain that are saying, "Why is Donnie in the sequel?" Honestly, I found this. Donnie in the sequel, quite very unnecessary. I mean, in the, in the first movie, he got arrested. How the hell did he go out in jail in this movie? They didn't mention it at all. Honestly, he, he could have been could have be, be removed. I honestly say this. I still hate that guy. I still despise Donnie. He's the worst character of the Ted movies. I don't hate him as an actor. He's a good actor, but I just don't like him as Donnie. He's a creepy character. I just... Do not like this character. I'm, I'm my favorite part is when John punches him. He fucking deserves it. That's what he gets with ripping up ten and half in the first movie. And also, yeah, Dolly came out in the sequel. He was in the, is in the um on the Teenage Mutant Turtles costume. And it's turned to be with you that 
he didn't mean to t- really pretend his heart it turned to be an accident. Seriously. Anyway, let's get back to the one. Also, there is some really good scenes like they're watching Law and Order. When they say, bomb bomb, let's go go to court. Bomb bomb. Sorry guys, I'm just getting a drink. Back I was saying, it was a great scene. And of course, we have the cliche comedy at films in the third act, which I kind of agree with Chris Stop and Nigel. Everyone gets to get too serious because one big action scene. Yeah, I kind of agree with Chris Stop and Nigel and all that stuff. And and so yeah, it's a good sequel, but it wasn't as good as the first movie. And as for the box office and the low and the low percent Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, there's not gonna be a Ted Three. I'm not that I'm not sure there's gonna be a Ted Three. There is no news for a Ted Three. I'm not very sure it's gonna ever gonna happen. So it'll be nice if we get to see a Ted Three, make a one more Ted film, and that's it. If they're gonna make a Ted Three, do not add Donnie. If if Donnie's in the next movie, I'll be really, really pissed off. Overall, that's what I'm no pause that was my only negative of the film. Overall, it's a very good, possible, decent sequel, but wasn't as good as the first movie. Overall, I give the movie a 7 out of 10. It's not as good as the first movie, but I enjoy it anyway. That's my video on Ted 2, and goodbye.